Welcome back. The University of Arizona is hoping that a new device could help thousands of people who use traditional pacemakers to keep their hearts in rhythm. Team 12's Michael Doudna gives us a closer look at the new technology that promises to be less invasive, and the best part is it would be battery... battery. It's a constant rhythm, a constant beat, until it's not. Since the 1960s, pacemakers have been used to correct the tempo in people's hearts. And for years, they've looked pretty similar. Current devices, right, uh, either a small pill or a relatively large box that gets implanted and it has one contact with the heart. But recently, researchers approached U Arizona biomedical engineer Philip Gutruff and his team to try and do something different. With our devices um, that we have recently shown, we have rethought this a little bit. So instead of one heart contact point, the device has several, molding itself around the heart. It's essentially a mesh that looks a little bit like rose petals that kind of engulf the heart uh, to enable these multiple points of contact. But to do it properly, the large battery box need to be removed. But without a battery, how do you keep it charged? So in, in this particular case, what we use is, is near-field powering. Yes, near-field powering. It's a similar tech that allows you to pay by tapping your credit card or your phone. But instead, it's being used to charge your heart. Our lab has capabilities to make devices that are remotely powered. And the hope is, is that this new tech would be less invasive, less painful, and more effective, allowing for more nuanced care for the thousands of people who need a little help keeping their hearts on track. This is also just a start, right? <laughs> uh, it, it is, it, for us, it, it is exciting to see um, this ultimately, you know, help human, human lives. Michael Doudna, 12 News. All right, sounds mm -hmm. fascinating. Thank you, Michael. Well, we